Back in the day, streetcars of the Conestoga Traction Company crisscrossed Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, transporting people between small towns and the city of Lancaster. Only one streetcar remains operational in the county today, Bernie Trolley Car No. 236, which is preserved by the Mannheim Historical Society. Occasionally, this car is let out of its shed and operated for visitors, but they don't get a very long journey. After all, the track barely covers the length of one town block. So how did we get here? Hi, my name is Jim Williams. I'm the uh, facilities chairman for the Mannheim Historical Society. And one of the things we have, obviously, that you've uh, seen today is the uh, trolley, burning trolley number 236, which we acquired a number of years ago. I can't tell you exactly when. They did many, many years of restoration and so forth by a gentleman by the name of Ben Hershey. It's been running, and if, you, if you'll notice, it's about a 60-yard track on our property in our parking lot. Um, and that's simply because we cannot take it any further. At one time, the tracks did extend off our property, but we're not allowed at this time to go further than that unless we would get involved with PUC, with the state of Pennsylvania, and that is more, um, shall I say, information that we would like to do and more than we would like to take on is working with the PUC. So we just do a 60-yard uh, run on our own property, which we can do. Usually every third Sunday of each month from May to September, the trolley does run in our parking lot. Um, and, and very active, and a lot of people do it. Uh, the car was made in 1926 in Philadelphia. My interest in driving the trolley is because my dad drove trolley car in Philadelphia for 35 years. Uh, it's a former PTC, now it's SEPTA. Uh, and I remember my me earliest memories <clears throat> of my father driving trolley was the same as this, where the pole had to be put up at either end to power up the trolley. This trolley is powered by an electric motor, but it also has an air compressor. The compressor activates the brake system and the doors. The doors open by air pressure with air pistons, and s same with the, uh, the brakes. This trolley can be operated from both ends. It was called a safety trolley. It had a lot of safety features on it because with just the one operator, if you had something happen to him, obviously he fell over. You wouldn't want the trolley to keep running, especially on a downhill grade. It originally started its life in uh, Philadelphia, uh, made in Philadelphia, but started in Lancaster City. It, uh, it was used to uh, ferry people from Lancaster City down to what was Rocky Springs Amusement Park back in the day, as they would say. Uh, the Historical Society has restored it. The seats were sitting on are bamboo, and that was what was originally uh, on these, these seats. A lot of younger people and so forth never had the availability of the, the attempt, uh, be able to ride a trolley, and so that's why we thought it was important that they see what the trolley ride and a trolley was like uh, versus what they're using today on, on cars and, and buses and so forth. If you'd like to visit the Mannheim Historical Society and ride this trolley, information can be found in the description of this video. So what do you guys think? Is this the shortest heritage trolley in America? Have you heard of other similar lines like this? Would you like to build one? Let me know in the comments, and take care until the next one.